Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my messy all day clean with me. If you're new here, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and we're gonna jump straight into today's video. Okay, so today we're gonna start off in my master bedroom because it was a mess, as you can tell. Savannah spent the night with us in there and there was food everywhere, there were blankets everywhere. So I wanted to get this room cleaned up before we moved on to the next one. So let's start tackling this space. I'm gonna start off by folding all of the blankets. So we used to have an air mattress that Savannah would sleep on if she spent the night with us and then George jumped on it and popped it. So we just threw a lot of blankets down on the floor for her to sleep. Um, she never likes sleeping with us. She says she gets squashed like a hot dog. <laughs> so if you're wondering why she's on the floor, she actually loves spending the night with us. We just layer up all those blankets. Maybe that's why I'm a blanket hoarder before her little sleepovers. But basically I'm just gonna get all these folded and then put away. I wanted to let you guys know that this Sunday there will not be a video, but it's only because it's gonna be going up Monday instead. It's gonna be a collab with an amazing YouTuber on here, and it's actually gonna be my spring clean and decorate. And then I'm gonna have like a really deep spring clean the following Sunday. So we got lots of cleaning motivation coming your way. That Monday video is gonna be worth the day wait because I bought some really beautiful decor that I can't wait to share with you guys. So definitely mark your calendars for that. Definitely make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on just so you don't miss my videos. Now I'm gonna head back into the bedroom so I can make our bed. I did wanna touch on, I will still have a Wednesday video. I know I didn't say that in my last clip, but this Sunday I won't have a video, but it'll be on Monday, and then I'll have my Wednesday video, and then my Sunday video. So, you know, my typical uploads are every Sunday and Wednesday. I'm just moving that one Sunday video to the Monday for the collab. I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page because that was a little confusing. But I'm just making the bed. You can see I lowered it. We love having an adjustable bed frame it's been so nice chase doesn't snore anymore we sleep so much better so if you guys are needing a bed like that definitely check them out ours is from doctors Oz and we really like it but there's tons of great brands but we've been so happy with ours
Now I'm gonna take all the trash from our nightstands and throw it away. If you can tell by this angle, we still do not have a dining room table. It's like almost two weeks late, but we had all that bad weather, so it's kind of expected. But I'm hoping it's gonna be in that spring clean and decorate with me, fingers crossed. I'm trying not to film it until it comes in. So I'm hoping it arrives soon, but I'm excited to share that one with you. But now I'm just putting my planner away. And then I remembered I normally have my pink blanket on this chair and I had crammed it over on that ottoman. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back here just for a little pop of color. Okay, so in my last video, it was my nighttime at Clean With Me, and it was like my cleaning routine. Um, I shared this Hoover vacuum, and um, I know that video is sponsored, so I can't like compare it to my Dyson or my LG, but I can in this one. I always get a lot of like private DMs from you guys, from my friends, from my family, like, okay, now that you're off camera, do you really like it? Just so you guys are all clear, I'm never gonna talk about a product that I don't love. I turn down huge deals daily if I don't like the product. So if I'm talking about it, I promise I like it. I love the Hoover and I mentioned in that video, the only difference I can find about it is it's a little bit heavier than my LG. So that's the only con. But as far as like the suction power, I feel like it's just as good as like the Dyson or the LG. Now I haven't had a Dyson vacuum in a while, mine died. So for that reason, I kind of lean towards my LG and I've always preferred it. It had a lot of attachments. It's got the second battery. This one's just amazing because it's super, super, super affordable. So if you're checking out a vacuum, I'm gonna leave that link down below. I think even Walmart sells them. Um, now it doesn't have the wall hanging charger and it's a little bit heavier. So those are like the two things I've noticed and it doesn't have the backup battery, but I can vacuum my whole house with it. So I just want to put that out there. But anytime I do a sponsored video, I just wanted you guys to know, like I promise you if I'm talking about it, I do love it. So I need to clean this washer so bad and actually a sweet viewer sent me something they bought off Amazon to help clean it. So I cannot wait to try that out. It's going to be one of my spring cleaning videos. I'm not sure which one yet, but if you're needing to clean your washer, definitely be on the lookout for that one. This is an old set and we bought it used and the last time I cleaned it was last time I was spring cleaning. So I definitely need to work on it soon.
Just so you guys don't get confused, this is the vacuum and it does have a wall hanger. So as you can see, I hung it on the wall right here, but it's not charging it. Where when I hang my LG vacuum, it's actually charging it. So you can plug the battery charger anywhere you want. It can be in a closet, it can be in the garage, you can just pull it out when you need it. I'm only charging it, you know, like, every three or four days, you know, I don't use it all that often, but I don't have to charge it every time. But that is, you know, that may be a deal breaker for you. Like every time I hang up my LG, I know it's charging where this one, if I forget the battery could die. So I just wanted to bring that up to you. Now it is time to head into our kitchen. And as you can see, we just finished having lunch. So it is a disaster. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize how much I was gonna miss having a dining room table. And when we ordered it, it was supposed to be in really quickly, but then we got hit with a lot of snow and a lot of bad weather. So the truck couldn't make it here. So luckily we have like our island to eat at, but it's just so much harder. I think we're gonna enjoy the dining room table so much more than we ever have when it finally comes in. Just a little tip when you're cleaning, if you ever notice my phone's always by me and it's because I have like Pandora on and I like to listen to music, I feel like it makes cleaning not so bad, especially on those things you don't like to do. Like cleaning up the kitchen is not like the funnest thing I enjoy, but if I have good music on, you just don't even notice. It's kind of like if you listen to it while you're working out, you may work out for longer. So if you haven't tried that yet, definitely give it a try. I love sh the Shania Twain station on Pandora. So if you're a country fan, definitely try that one out. Don't, 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 don't. I typically get asked about what I'm wearing and where it comes from a lot, so it's just easier to come on here. The slippers were a Christmas gift, but I linked some ones that are really similar to it in my Amazon store. The jeans are from Amazon, so those will be linked down below. And then the top is from Apple Boulevard. It's just like a family business that my sister works at. So I shop there and thread up. Those are my two favorite stores. I used to love shopping at Ross, but eight I don't feel like they get much anymore and you can't try them on anyways. And I just love the quality of thread up that I get like nicer clothes for cheaper. And then obviously my sister works at um, Apple Boulevard. So I love to support that as well. Um, so I'll link all that down below for you guys. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. Just know things will never be the same Like strangers again Like strangers again I thought we'd never fall Could have tried much harder All we have are scars Said we 
could get so high, higher up than heaven. We said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. And yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again Like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my stainless steel. This is a stainless steel cleaner. I don't know what the name is on the top of my head, but I'll link it down below for you in the description box, but it works really well. I picked it up from Ross. I think sometimes when we go into Ross and like TJ Maxx, we go straight towards like decorating or shoes and stuff like that. Definitely always go down the cleaning aisle. They have really cool products you can try out. Plus they get like method and some really cool like non-toxic products. So don't forget to go down those aisles. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you. Anytime I have this stainless steel cleaner out now, I try to remember to go on my entry because this, it's not a new table, it's new for me, but I found it off um, Facebook Marketplace, but it's stainless steel. So I like to go ahead and wipe it down. Um, if you don't have a stainless steel cleaner, that is perfectly fine. You can use like a window cleaner. I feel like granite cleaner works really well. So I have like a Jaws granite cleaner and I love it on stainless steel. So you don't have to have a stainless steel cleaner, but I feel like it does have more of like a polisher in it. So it's probably smart to use occasionally if you have like scratches or anything, cause it'll help fill those in. I wanna let you know. Okay, now we're gonna move on to this mirror that's on my mantle, um, like above our fireplace. For some reason, there's been like a film on it that I cannot clean. So I remembered I had this e-cloth like sponge and it's for windows. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. It actually worked really well. So you like get it wet and you clean it with one side and then you buff it out with the other. Now I will say it still seemed pretty wet. So I went and grabbed my window rag from them to dry it off and it helped a ton. I showed 
show like an after photo so if you want to see it but I know a lot of you guys send me messages like I have this mirror and I cannot get it clean I will always stand by um, e-cloth and their products like their rags are amazing especially the window cloth like polishing rag everyone needs one of those in their life if it stops working it's probably because you've washed it with like a fabric softener so you can foil it or you can do it in a really hot load and that will help kind of get all of that stuff out so it'll start drying faster and not leaving those streaks. Now I'm just switching over the load of laundry that I had started that morning. I like to do one load a day. Now I can't happen every single day, like sometimes we get busy or we're not at home, but if I can just do one load of laundry most days, it just keeps it simple. There's like no mountain of laundry. It is so nice. Um, it's been nice to get back to that. When the snowstorm happened here in Oklahoma, they asked us to conserve energy. And so I had to go quite a few days without doing laundry. So I had like a mountain, but I think I'm finally caught up and back to the one load a day. Now it is a little bit later and it's evening time. As you can tell, the sun's going down. So I had kind of taken a break, but now I'm gonna head back into the laundry room because that load is dry. I like to get it out. I don't like to have my clothes sitting in the dryer because they wrinkle. Not that it doesn't happen maybe once a week, but I try to get them out if I can. So that's where the system of like starting a load in the morning, switching it over in the afternoon, and then folding it at night, it just keeps that process going. So you never back up on laundry. You never have like a mountain of laundry to fold. And I feel like it's just so much easier. So I'm gonna take this to my bedroom and get it folded. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. I always feel like I get a lot of questions about my bedroom and all the stuff in it anytime I show it. So I thought I would just go through it real quickly. Our bed is off Amazon. So I always have that link down below in our description box. The mirror, I have quite a few of these mirrors in my house and you guys always wanna know where I find them. I start at Ross, but I typically end up at Kirkland. So Kirkland's always has them. I know I was at Home Goods today and they have amazing mirrors there. So definitely try there, but Ross will always be cheaper, but they have a hard time getting big ones so definitely just check out home goods tj maxx or kirkland's um the rugs in my house are from boutique rugs if you guys ever need rugs or home decor from them um, i have a coupon code and it's ash 60 for 60 percent off i love their rugs um, the chandelier we've had in three different houses um, chase's mom gave that to me so we just kind of carried around from space to space it's hung in so many different bedrooms but it started out in savannah's nursery so i just love having that and then my bedding is from Amazon and it is the softest bedding I've ever had. I never want to switch it out. I have washed and dried it a lot and it does so well. So if you're looking for a really soft bedding, definitely try that one out.
So now I'm gonna work on Chase's office. As you can tell, it's not that dirty, but I love to get everything picked up and put away before I go to bed. It makes me feel better, I sleep better, and then I wake up in a better mood because I'm not waking up to a disaster. So I know some of you guys love these like super extreme satisfying clean with me's and I think they're amazing too. But if that's what you're looking for here, I'm not your girl. <laughs> Just so you know, I think most of you guys know that by now, but I always get people complaining, but I'm more here to show you routines that work. So if I post a nighttime cleaning routine, it's because I use it and it works. It's not something I'm making up on the fly. I love to share morning routines, all day clean with me's. I love for you guys to see how I clean my house because I just clean a few minutes throughout the day and my house stays clean and I just love that so I'm here to help you guys if you want to maintain a clean house then I'm your girl for that so now I'm gonna work on this rug we had it at our old house on our front porch just for a little bit before we moved and we rolled it up and stuck it up in our attic and it was kind of messed up it was kind of like bent because we didn't roll it up well with the movers so I laid it out so it could flatten and we went ahead and just posted that on Facebook marketplace and got it sold but I didn't want to sell it like bent so if you guys have rugs like that just lay them out and don't put any furniture on them you can put things on the corner so that they lay flat but they always go out really well with these boutique rugs Now I'm gonna show you some clips of how the house looks. You've kind of seen me clean throughout the whole day and this is how I like my house to look before I go to bed. Now granted, I'd like a table right there in that photo, but hopefully I'll get one soon. So you can just see, it's very calming. I like to turn the lights down low. If you guys missed my nighttime routine, definitely go back and check that one because I'll get a little more detailed in it. And so you can kind of see what I do and why I do it. But thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it so much. So definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends and family or somebody that could use it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me, what are you saying? What game are we playing?